Hey what's up guys my name is Anand and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be talking about how to analyze keywords in your performance max campaign but most importantly how can you exclude certain keywords that are not performing well. Now Google Ads has you know they're pretty much trying to you know force everyone to use performance max campaign because of you know its benefits it's data backed in terms of you know using ai and machine learning to learn more about your business your keywords your audience and then you know it will auto optimize you know a bunch of different parameters and uh, if you are running performance max campaign either to generate leads as you can see over here or local store visits or sales uh, there's a very high chance that you might be using keywords to uh, you know guide Google Ads in terms of what type of keywords are relevant for your business uh, so that way it will only trigger those ads at the right moment now the challenge with performance max is that uh, Google Ads has not given a straightforward way to analyze you know which keywords are actually driving traffic and conversions so I'm going to show you exactly where you need to go in your Google Ad account to view that data. Now, um, the other thing to keep in mind is that with Performance Max, you know, the, the other challenge that you will most likely face is Google does not provide a straightforward way to add uh, negative keywords. So I'm gonna give you a very effective option to add negative keywords. I'm gonna give you actually two options to add negative keywords. It's almost like how you manage a search campaign where you add, you know, keywords, negative keywords, um, either into a list or to a campaign or an ad group. So the first thing I want to show you is where exactly is the uh, keyword analysis or search term analysis for Performance Max. So to do that, you need to go into your Google Ads account. And um, in this case, I have selected the campaigns tab on the left hand side. Now, uh, unfortunately, I need to blur some of the data because um, you know, again, it doesn't matter which keywords it is, um, but for this account, I need to blur. Anyways, when you click on click on campaigns, um, click on the insights tab. Now that's very important. Um, when you click on the insights tab, um, you will need to scroll down. So over here, um, keep scrolling down, and then you will get to see something called a search terms um, report. Now this is where you will get to see, um, you know, a list of keywords. And as you can see for each keyword, you will also get to see uh, the number of conversions, uh, the search volume for the keyword, and the asset group from where the keyword is coming from or that, that is getting triggered. Now, uh, the other thing I wanna mention is you can even select this dropdown over here and you can choose like different values like clicks, impressions, uh, conversion value, click-through rate, rate, and conversion rate. So as you can see, um, this is where, so under the Insights tab, keep scrolling down, and this under the Search Terms report, that's where you will be able to see like all the different keywords that is actually driving traffic to your Performance Max campaign. Now, um, when you click on Details, uh, it will actually open up in a new, um, you know, tab where it will show you all the search terms for that. A lot of keywords in here, and then you know it has search volume, conversions, clicks, impressions, all, all those metrics are available, and uh, you can even you know filter it by custom date range in the last 28 days or you know last seven days, which is the by, by default option, right? So this is where you will actually analyze all your keywords. Now the challenge is Let's say you found out that, hey, um, you know, XYZ keyword is costing you, you know, maybe a lot of dollars and then there's no conversions, uh, you know, it has poor click-through rate and uh, literally there's no point in, you know, getting clicks. Say for example, this one, right? There is no straightforward way currently to add that as a negative keyword, just like you would do in your search campaign. To add a negative keyword, what you can do is go into your account settings 
and so which is basically on the left side click on admin and then click on account settings and then scroll down uh, this is where you can add your negative keywords so keep in mind that when you add uh, a negative keyword at, at this level this is basically called as account level account level negative keyword when you add a keyword at account level it will impact all the campaigns ad groups and ads because you are making this change at an account level so you know again over here you can say you know free cheap you know travel i mean these i'm just making it up you know it will be different for your business of course so depending upon the keywords that is not making sense you can add it hit save and you know it will be applicable uh, throughout the ad account now obviously there will be a situation where you only want the keywords to be added as negative for the performance max campaign now this is where it gets tricky and again i think it's pretty um, you know foolish on behalf of google for not providing an easy option uh, to add negative keywords but essentially the only other option is to fill out a form basically what you need to do is you need to go to this link that says support.google.com google ads contact performance max under, <laughs> underscore implementation and you need to fill out this form uh, basically it says performance max campaign modification request form wow you know provide your contact name account login email id contact email id your google ads customer id which will be at, on the top right uh, and then select you know three any of these three options now again you can even use this form to exclude placement um, or you can use it to exclude topic and then we need to uh, select keyword exclusion in our case right so select keyword exclusion and then again the exclusion needs to be at the campaign level i've already shown you how to add negative keywords at an account level um, but for campaign level choose this option now there are a couple of other additional check boxes that google provides again uh, if you want to exclude brand traffic which is either your own um, brand competitor or partner brand then you will select this option right uh, for terms that aren't brand suitable um, it's saying that use account level negative keywords uh, on certain content categories please use account level um, excluded excluded sensitive content instead and then on specific placements uh, please use account level placement exclusion for another performance or automation guiding way wow crazy anyways if you're unable to use the recommended alternatives feature briefly explain why you're not able to use the uh, recommended alternative feature looks like google is trying to build this product by getting feedback anyways um so basically this is where you know you are going to uh, use this form right and then um, submit an attachment so basically um, you need to fill out this um, excel file or whatever the template is uh, and i'm going to pull this up quickly over here to show you like how it looks like uh, and look at this keywords at campaign level keyword list i think this is really a lot of work honestly um, anyways you need to uh, submit that form check these boxes and once you hit submit um, only then the negative keywords will be in effect at the campaign level so that's uh, an update on what exactly are keywords in performance max campaign how to review search terms report in performance max campaign and two different ways of adding negative keywords so that way you can improve your performance so if you have any questions let me know in the comment section make sure to like subscribe and comment and i will see you next time thank you